Hey guys, this is Poet Spice, Jamie and Lola Tallula, and I am here to do another week of the Christmas in July collab, which is hosted by Gracie21. Yay! Christmas in July. Woo <laughs> Ah! Okay, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, in the description box below, there will be all the links to the ladies who per are participating in this collab. So definitely go check them out. And even though this isn't necessarily one of those, um, you know, requirements, if you want to do some Christmas in July, why don't you go ahead and do that and then just do a video response to this video. All right. So at the end, just make sure you like, subscribe, click that, you know, notification button, and then go check out the other ladies. Okay, let's get started. So I made some cards. Surprise, surprise, right? You know, I always love my cards. And of course, I used what in them? Dies. Yes, when I do I not? So I had this Christmas, Merry Christmas die from Maya Road. I used this one from the site that shall not be named. And then this one is a first edition die. And it came in a huge collection that I got last Christmas. So I used those. And then I just used papers that were in my scrap bin and so forth when I was digging around just to use up paper that I have. So I made four cards. Um, I had card bases that were laying around, so I used those as well. So here's this card. It's two layers. And then the Merry Christmas has the Merry and then a green background. And then just the poinsettia using that dot. Mm -hmm. Now on the inside... I'm just going to put a white piece there so that's easier to write on. So there's that one. And of course, you know, I don't do matchy-matchy. They're coordinated. So here's another one. Then here's this one. So I took that die, colored her up, put her on here. Da, da, da. And here's a tip. Your die usually comes out one way. So if you want it to, to face the other way, just flip it over. Now what you can do if you want it to look as crisp as the way it comes out is run it through your um, machine between two pieces of paper and then it'll flatten it all out. I didn't feel like taking all that time to do that. So I used my Spectrum Norris to color her up in some Sharpies. And then here you have the Merry Christmas with a brown background to kind of lift it up. And then the same here. So I just took the die. So this die, you can see how the bezel goes down and this one doesn't look the same because that one's just turned over. But you can just do that, put it between two pieces of paper, run it through your machine and you'll get both pieces flat. All right, so those are my two here. All righty then. That was one set of four. Let me put those up out of the way. Then I did another set of four. I had some uh, scrap paper laying around again, and I decided, you know what, we're going to use that. And I also used some, I want to use my colored inks more. So I used this wagon dye ink from Ranger. And these. I'll use this stamp set. I'll use this sentiment here. Uh, I think this is Momenta. I also use this art impression stamp at the bottom. But isn't that cute? I love the little penguins. And then again, I use this Moonstone die in my project. Okay. Then I use this one but I use the layering pieces here for the sentiment and then on my tattered lace stepper card I use the snowman the big tree and the little tree this one I, I use that so much it's ridiculous except I haven't actually used the stepper card so that section and here are the cards I created using that so these two are similar so these are the tattered lace trees little scraps that I had in the background. There's that shape and then the sentiment in there. I used my Spectrum Noirs to color up the little snowman. And then on the inside, I did the shape again so it'd be easier to write and then put the little snowman there. And then here's this one. 
and the little snowman there. All right. So then these two, similar. I used that other paper and the little stamp. Isn't that cute? Of course, I used my Spectrum Norris to color it up. I might go back and put some glitter on this later. There's the sentiments again. There's that one. So you see they're colored similarly, but not exactly the same. And the configuration's a little different. And then on the inside, I did the little polka dot snowman. So coordinated. The teal ones have the red border snowman inside. And the red ones have that border inside. Okay, so those are my two sets of cards that I did this time. Go check out the other ladies and I shall see you again. Bye! Thanks for watching!